Okay, so this is the Lego Star Wars 2020 Razor Crest. Uh, so this set is still fairly new for kind of came out with the late uh, fall release. It is 1,023 pieces, retails for 130 bucks. So not a bad value for money, in my opinion. I, uh, I think this set's pretty cool. I've been trying to find this one forever because uh, everywhere I've been going, it has been sold out. So I managed to pick this up in my local Lego store. So um, this is from the TV show, The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. That's how I wanted to get it. And I think that's why everybody did. And plus the many figures we get this set are, uh, are pretty cool. So but, uh, you can definitely tell it's a pretty good size for a $130 set. Just to give you an idea, I have the Slave One from 2019, and it's 10 bucks less. So this one was 120 bucks. It has 1,100 pieces. So as you can see, uh, the Razor Crest is definitely bigger and a little bit longer. So, but anyway, so you get five mini figures with this set. Three of them are uh, new to the set at the time, and uh, I know I'm kind of late on reviewing this set, but like I said, I can't find it anywhere. But you get five figures, three of them are new, They're only in this set. So starting off, you get the cockpit, it just opens up. You get the Mandalorian, obviously, because this is his personal ship. So. Not bad. Um, it's actually the same one they give you in the ATST Raider. So I kind of wish they would have given you a different one, but you know, still pretty cool. Maybe a pain in the arms or something. And then you get the child in the back here, or Baby Yoda, as everybody calls him, but I'm not calling him Baby Yoda because he is not Yoda. He is the child. So pretty nice. You can tell he's very small, definitely. Um, like here he is up next to a regular minifigure, as you can see. He's definitely small. And his head actually does come off. Um, just to give you an idea of how small he is, here is my Ant Man from one of the Captain America sets, Civil War sets I have. So, yeah, you can see he's not much, uh, about the same size, just a. Uh, this one, the head can move, and it does come off, so not too bad. And then you get Riff Karga. That's his name. You know, he's got these nice twin blasters. That's how he's got his kind of smile, smirk face. And then he's got his let's talk business face, so. I will say this, he was kind of the one who ran the bounty. Placed the bounties on people, so that's all I'm going to say without trying to spoil it. And then you get IG-11. Um, so it is slightly new. I actually didn't grab the minifigure to show you. The only difference is his face is a little bit different. But he's got the nice long rifle on his back. And then the last turn. Oh, it does kind of look a little heavy, so... And then you get a scout trooper. Um, I kind of wish I would have given you a speeder bike with this set. Because I feel like it's pointless to give you a scout trooper. And uh, he's very well detailed. Just to give you an idea. I have the one of my old ones. Because I don't think I've actually gotten this scout trooper yet. So you can definitely tell the new one's more detailed. Um, and he does have a face. Which both have a face. And he's got the Loki face. I mean, this helmet is just super well detailed, is what I like. And the old one actually has a face. Um, it's kind of that like visor piece of the mouth on it, so not bad. Uh, so there's your five mini figures, which are pretty cool. So onto the set, uh, inside of the ship. Yeah, a spot for Mandalorian and the child. Um, I kind of wish they wouldn't give you more controls on just one. This, 
sorry. Uh, I kinda wish it would've given you more controls other than this one little panel. I, uh, I'm not really complaining, but I feel like they could've done more with the controls. Um, and also what's really cool is up top here, you can lift this back. We have a spot for his rifle. And we'll go ahead and put in his hand real quick. Uh, so he's got his long rifle. Um, they give me another spot for weapon. I kind of wish they would have given you the blaster. But, and then this piece kind of just fits on top. Um, you got a couple stickers here. Here on the sides. Um, this isn't a sticker, thankfully. It's painted on. Right. You got the nice engines, really nice and bulky. And then kind of the back afterburners on them. So, and then on top, what was just really cool is you actually get an escape pod. Because um, for a while, I could not figure out what this was. So, it does open up, and you can fit somebody in there. So. Uh, it breaks off like it has that little piece right there. It just kind of clicks on to and it fits on. So then you get the forward free facing uh, cannons. And what's also cool is you actually have this part peels down and you have his bed. And on the other side, you have a spot for missiles. Um, they only give you three, so I just put all three on here. But I'm gonna show you how they work. You just push them in. Like so. And then you uh, push this piece. And it shoots it off. I don't have to find that later. Uh, so that's kind of cool, you get these little compartments. You wouldn't really know it's there. And then, uh, what's also really cool is you get the side ramps. Uh, right here, which uh, to get in the ship, and uh, that's on both sides. If you're wondering, so, and then you get the main one back here as well. It opens, so you can see inside there. Really cool. If you're wondering, you can't really get inside there. What's really cool is this whole panel. I just lifts back so you can get inside the set more. It's on both sides. And then uh, if you'll notice right here, you have some people frozen in carbonite. Really cool. And these are stickers too, which I don't know why. I don't know why they couldn't just paint them like the uh, original Han Solo minifigure. The Han Solo frozen carbonite piece from the old slave ones. So I'm going to move these out of the way. But it's really cool because they fit in these little grooves right here. You can see. Sometimes I get a little stuck, but you gotta fit in those grooves, which is really nice. So, and then, uh, you can see in the inside, there's a lot of space. You can put some cargo on there if you wanted. Uh, I kind of wish they would have uh, given you a little, like, weapons box somehow. Because um, it does have, like, a cabinet full of weapons, so. But, anyway, I'll go ahead and... Close all this up. Now, you actually don't want really to get a, and the other thing that kind of surprised me is you don't want really to get a, a spot for the, like a handle to pick this up with, kind of like on the slave one in the back. Um, so I guess you can kind of grab it from underneath to pick it up. So, or right here maybe, but anyway. So yeah, there's that for you. And then, oh, one more thing. <clears throat> you guys have the landing legs on the bottom. 
Um, they actually do mo rotate a little bit. I don't know if they're supposed to or not. But, uh, but they don't extract in the ship. So I'll go ahead and pick it up. So you can see how they're kind of just stuck on there. Like, you could take these off if you wanted to, but this one you'd have to break that whole piece off. So, anyway, there is that for you guys. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, so my thoughts, I would honestly recommend you pick this set up. Um, if you're definitely wanting to uh, get sets from the Mandalorian, this is definitely a good one to get. I think it's, it's absolutely great. It's pretty easy to build, straightforward. Um, it's structurally strong. You won't really have to worry about anything coming off. Like you might have to worry about this one part. It tends to kind of break off right there, as you can see. Um, I mean, a little kid wouldn't really have problems picking this set up, playing with it. So, anyway, <clears throat> hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, it is <clears throat> definitely worth getting, definitely worth 130 bucks in my opinion. But like I said, it's hard to find, but I think it's because of the many figures you get, because this was the first set to ever include the child, and so I think that's why everybody kept picking it up, so... Anyway, there's that for you. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you're new, be sure to click the bell notification. Be sure to share the video as well. Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. And then I'll uh, try to get back to putting up videos for you guys once a week. So, but yeah, there's that for you. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. What do you guys think? And I will see you real soon.